In this video, I'm showing you seven of the best controller gadgets for gaming. I've found each of these items useful for my gaming experience over the years, and if you're wanting to pick any up for yourself, they're all listed in the top of the description. The first gadget is called a strike pack, and it's the one thing that has improved my skill in games the most. This is because it adds four paddles to any PS4 or Xbox controller for only $45, or actually every few weeks it ends up going on sale for only $27, which is a crazy deal. So like in Call of Duty, I use the top two to jump, and then I use the other one for crouch slide pro. And then the bottom two I'll put on switch weapons and call in score street. This makes movement and aim so much easier and pretty much instantly made me better when I first got these paddles about four years ago. And for the gamers that know the mod capabilities of this thing, I do not support the use of them to cheat. I'm recommending them specifically on the fact that it's the cheapest, best paddles you can get. They're easy to use because it's plug and play on both PS4 and Xbox, but it does have more of a setup process on PC, which I've actually made a tutorial on. The second gadget is actually one of my favorites and it's the extreme rate clicky hair trigger kit. Kit. This kit is made for the PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, and it's about $15 for each. The install is definitely a process, but it's more time consuming than it is skillful. It's actually relatively easy, and in the end, your triggers are the same Digital Tap Pro triggers that you get on Scuff, Battle Beavers, and all those Pro controllers. It effectively makes your triggers and bumpers twice as fast, but be mindful that the triggers will no longer work as intended on like racing games or any games that utilizes the depth of the trigger. This is more meant for FPS and Battle Royale games where you're trying to get your shot off the quickest. And they also actually have this kit for normal face buttons as well, which I also love, but the trigger kit is the one that makes the biggest gameplay difference. The third gadget is likely the most popular attachment in all of controllers, and that's the Control Freak Thumb Grip. There are different versions made for different games, but they're all around $15. I've personally been using the Galaxy version for around four years. It's meant to be put on your right stick for increased range of motion, which can make your aim more accurate, but I only find the low or medium rise comfortable. So in my setup, it's the medium rise Galaxy on my right stick with nothing on my left. The feature that I actually enjoy most about Control Freaks is not the accuracy it provides, but more so the comfort it provides. The material is a super grippy rubber with some sort of texture design on it, which means your thumb is never slipping off. Halfway down the list of the best controller gadgets, we have reached something a little more unconventional. This is an electric hand warmer. If you're like me and live somewhere that gets freezing cold, or you're just in a room that's always cold, you know exactly how difficult it is to game with cold hands. Your mechanics are super slow and they take forever to warm up. So I bought this to help me with that. This specific one is by Lamiga and it has three different warm temperatures. The great thing is that it only takes like 20 to 30 seconds to warm up. So within a minute, your hands can be warm and you can be ready to go. These range in price from about $15 all the way up to like 35, but mine specifically was 25. And after about a year, it still works really well. Now if my hands get all warmed up and I'm gaming, I'll admit I'm wanting to have sweaty hands. To help with that, the fourth controller gadget is actually a controller grip by Control Freak. I've only ever tried the extra thin one because it's the only one that works with the strike pack, but the grip helps prevent my hands from sweating and it also makes the controller much more comfortable to hold. This is made for the PS4, PS5, and Xbox controllers and sits right at $15 for each. On the outside, it has a moisture wicking layer, which is great for grip and airflow to the hand. And then to add some extra comfort, it has some foam cushioning in the middle. I've tried a few different grips and this one is by far my favorite. That makes up most of the pro attachments, but there's a couple more gadgets to make your gaming life easier. And that brings up the sixth gadget, which is a quality cable. Gaming on a wired connection allows for the most consistent performance where you don't have to worry about varying input delay or battery life. However, you can have just as many issues with a bad cable. My micro USB cable for my PS4 controller is actually the strike pack one, which has never failed me. And then my USB-C cable, which I use for my PS5 and my Xbox controllers is by AIM. I've found that a six foot long braided cable works well for me. You can find these all over Amazon for under $10, so they're definitely a worthy investment. At this point, you have the equivalent of a pro controller with a great cord connection. So the last gadget to make your gaming life easier is a cord holder as well as a controller holder. You'll want somewhere to park your cable when you're not using it so your setup stays clean and you can always find the cable when you need it. And they have these cable organizing packs all over for super cheap. Then a designated spot for your controller is key because you don't want to accidentally drop it, step on it, sit on it, or mess it up in any way when you're not actually using it. I have these wall mounts that I keep a bunch of controllers on or I also have this desk mount but there's a ton of variety in different mounts you can get. Some go on top of the desk, under the desk, on the wall. Whatever works best for you, just make sure you have a safe spot to store your controller. And there you have it, the seven best controller gadgets for gaming. Remember to subscribe and let me know if you like this type of video. It's a little something new, so thanks for watching.